The storage setup screen is used to configure your hard drives for video storage. The drives will appear in the top of the screen. The C drive is reserved for the Exact Vision software and the operating system, so you'll notice that I don't have it enabled for video storage. We strongly recommend that you do not record to this drive as a precaution. You can enable or disable a drive for video storage by selecting or deselecting the enabled box on the storage setup screen. The video space slider allows you to control how much of the drive you want to use for video storage. If you choose to use your C drive for video storage, it's a good idea to set the video space at no more than 90% to reserve space for other operating system tasks. The use space bar shows how much of the drive has been filled. The status field displays the health of the drive. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the days of recorded video. Expiration configuration allows you to set minimum or maximum time periods for video from each camera to be stored. For example, you could configure one camera's video to be stored for at least 30 days before it's deleted and another camera's to be deleted after no more than 7 days. Normally when the drives fill up, the system will record over the oldest video files with the new video files. It's recommended that you use the expiration configuration feature only when necessary, such as when video must be deleted after a specific time period as required by law. To configure video expiration, select a camera name in the list on the left and click Add. Then select the camera name in the list on the right. You can configure two types of expiration. To delete video after a certain amount of time, select at most from the type drop down list and use the arrows to select the maximum number of days the video should be stored. To save video for a minimum amount of time, select at least from a type drop down and use the arrows to select the minimum number of days the video should be stored. Repeat for each camera that requires expiration rules. To remove expiration rules, select one or more camera names in the list on the right and click Remove. 